The cameras are fixed to one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United, and they face Bournemouth. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the Newcastle formation. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And this confrontation is underway. Could be a great game. Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St James's Park. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with and without the ball. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. And slipped through beautifully. Oh, surely! And there it is! The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Good visualisation and execution. Must score! And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0.
And that is all for this game. The referee blows the whistle and Newcastle victorious. Their fans will be thrilled with the outcome. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today. Thanks, guys. Good to see you here. We'll get started with the questions now. Okay, guys, uh, we've got to wrap it up now. Thanks so much for attending. set here at Wembley, a sea of fans beginning to descend upon the stadium for what ought to be a riveting Carabao Cup final. It's Liverpool, they take on Newcastle United, live on EA TV. This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It is Liverpool up against Newcastle United. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. Number 19, Adrian Rabio. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Thiago starts alongside Adria Rabio in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Thank you. Enjoy the game here at Wembley Stadium. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the referee says penalty.
This to make it 1-0. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Well, Liverpool restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Situation. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will he find the net? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And he's through here. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of face on it. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. away again and Newcastle really beginning to run away with this now the scoreline threatening to get ugly here Adeyemi and he's broken free a goal an exceptional performance this four to the good now Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. And into the second half, the story of the first half was one of the Magpies dominating. Are committed to making the substitution here. Now he's got to stay calm. Oh, banning them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match already. They need to get tighter here. Happy to take on the shot. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest.
Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Comes. Not all that convincing defensively. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance at a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.